Well, some say music, particularly Christian music, is inspiring. And late last month, Christian singer Natalie Grant performed at the Nice Swanger Performing Arts Center. Andy and his wife Leah were among those in attendance. Andy Lynch with Natalie Grant. Welcome to Ohio. Do you enjoy traveling the country, seeing all the different sites? I do. I think it is really true that there's beauty in every spot, no matter how small or how big. Um, and it's fun. I've got my daughters here with me, so it's a lot of fun. <laughs> Speaking of your daughters, Glimmer Girls, you know, what was it like writing those books kind of, you know, with them in mind? Well, we actually kind of wrote them together, oh, cool. um, which was really fun because I think oftentimes being a musician and sometimes they come with me, sometimes they don't. And oftentimes it's what I'm called to do. And we're always finding way, trying to find ways that they can be involved. So writing these books together, they came up with the plot, with the character names, with the book titles. So it really was kind of a family effort, which was a lot of fun. What do they think when they get to go on tour with you and go to different spots? What's that like for them? Well, my youngest daughter just informed me, no, you're not about to go in and do your show. We're about to go in and do our show. So they like it a lot. They definitely love it. I mean, obviously, if you get tired um, at it, one of my daughters isn't feeling too great mm -hmm. tonight. But it, there's nothing like doing it like a family. So, you know, I, I wouldn't trade it for the world. <laughs> you created Hope for Justice International. Just why was that on your heart and why is it important to you? Um, you know, I mean, it was an issue I learned about on Law and Order. I never thought I would say Law and Order changed my life, but <laughs> it did. Um, you know, they did an episode on something called human trafficking in 2004. Nobody was talking about it. Now it's become a very trendy cause, thank God, because things get done when things become trendy. But to learn that there are more slaves in the world today than at any other point in our history, most of them under the age of 18. I wasn't even a mother when I founded the organization, but now with a mother's heart, I mean, those are someone's daughters, and, and it's the most unthinkable evil and I feel like it's the church's job to be on the front lines of this fight so we appreciate you having you here thank you very much thank you. you bet